Hi, it's Micah. Today I wanted to revisit the Raincoast Tarot after working with it and um, show you a reading and compare it to some other decks. So, I remembered part of my reservation when getting the Raincoast was a similar issue I was having um, in deciding to purchase the Caitlin Madison. And that is because... The cards, some of them are really busy and some are really simple, right? I have a different, I'm in a different room and this lighting might be an issue, but okay. So some of the minors are busy, some of the courts are, a lot of the majors are. Which is great. So here we got a king and the raincoast. Queen, some majors, <clears throat> and some minors that are like, you know, pretty busy. And then I'm going to make a total mess. <laughs> All right. And then the opposite happens where like a lot of them are really simple. And I know like having more simple minors in some decks is like, Whatever, it makes sense, but it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big difference, right? Um, and like, this is a major, I mean, it's fairly simple. Let me grab some cards again. Do you see what I mean? Like, and, and this is an ace. Compared to this ace. So it doesn't feel super cohesive. I'll do that with this too. You know what I mean? Like there's so much white space compared to all this like saturated detail that I didn't know if it would just make it feel off. And... Um... I realized that, like, the Crowley, I had kind of the same, the same experience. And these are uh, the same creators. What's his name? I think it's Christopher James. So, when I did my walkthrough of this deck, which I got by accident, I was like, you know, like, I don't know. But, when you lay them out... <clears throat> It's different. And I realized that, you know, some decks just aren't as good in order. Like, sometimes they're better mashed up and mixed up and messed up. Because, I mean, that's how you do readings anyway. I mean, you're not going to... Chances are, when you shuffle cards, you're not going to pull them in order to be able to, like, nitpick it, right? So... I was like kind of fussy and I, I kept thinking about this deck and I'm like, woman, just shuffle it and pull some cards. And that's what I did. Uh, I had a little mini crisis on Saturday. I chipped my front tooth. Okay. And <laughs> I was devastated, knew I couldn't get into the dentist all weekend and um, didn't know if I was going to be able to find somebody that would take my insurance. So I was, I was, I was freaking out. I was freaking out a little bit and I got it fixed um yesterday luckily and here was the spread that I did before so I have like hindsight now okay so for situation I got the fool I guess I'll show you the cards we got the fool right he is he is going on this adventure and we got this little devil guy here I was like okay situation we got the four of pentacles i'm gonna lay these out and then i'll talk more about them advice we got the ace of swords the f or no situation obstacle advice yeah and then i um i pulled more advice cards because i was like that's not enough so we got um the two the ten of swords and the sun, okay? 
because I, I was in a frantic state of mind. I'm like, <laughs> I need advice more than anything because I already know what the situation is, right? So, usually when I go to the doctors, I, like, want a friend to go with me or something, and I, I get I get scared. But immediately it was like, I put my brave girl pants on, and I'm like, I am doing this. Like, I don't go to bed till super late, but I woke up two days in a row super early, the first to call insurance, call doctor's office, and the second one, which was Monday morning, yesterday, to um, drive the whole way to the city by myself, um, go through, like, traffic and tunnels and downtown and everything, and um, and do it, you know? And I think that is is a big part of the full card, right? You need to have that that bravery and determination to be like, no matter what the outcome is, like, I am doing this. I am committed. It's happening, right? And, um, and the four, what's interesting is, like, this guy looks kind of worried, right? And these people are working inside a building. So... Like, the Four of Pentacles is typically, like, holding on to your resources too tightly and stuff like that. And remember, I pulled these cards before I could even talk to a dentist office. And it kind of seems like, you know, they're in an office type. I mean, he's making shoes or something. And these people want in. And I wanted in. You know what I mean? Like, I would like to be a customer. Please let me inside. Um, so I thought that was really interesting, and that's what's cool about, like, the art in this deck is it's different, and I think when it comes up in different situations, you'll have, um, you know, an altered view on what's happening. Oh, that was the obstacle. Situation obstacle advice. Okay. So my obstacle was being able to get in, to get seen, um, to have a consultation. So, like, the first advice I got was uh, Ace of Swords, like, mental clarity, right? I needed to think with my head and less with my emotions. I was up crying. Yes, I'm a little bit of a baby, but, you know, I get emotional. So I had to, I had to think, plan, do, um, and, and kind of tone down the rest. So I, I made a plan of action of what needed to be done. And I didn't I didn't know where I was going to go. Um, I didn't know what was going to happen yet, but I was willing to embark on on this endeavor, right? Um so yeah, these two came up and then I was like, just give me more. Like I'm I'm just pulling cards at this point. And these two popped out together, and I'm like, you never really want to see a ten of swords when you're freaking out, but it came out with the sun, right? So that made me feel like, yes, I am emotionally somewhat defeated and overwhelmed, like, I am very upset about this, but I have to choose to get up, to work past my upsetness and get over myself basically like t I have to get up and do whatever whatever I have to do you know to get to get there to overcome the obstacle and like everything will be fine like it'll work out oh my god okay I'm good <laughs> sorry <laughs> I glanced at my phone and I thought this wasn't recording and I was about to freak out so, I'm not editing this. Just ignore that that happened. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Spaz. Okay. So, yes. Um, the sun. Joyous. Even though, like, this doesn't look super crazy happy, but the deck's kind of weird. So, so that everything will work out and it'll be good. I just have to, like, go through the process. Right? And, um... Yeah, I thought this I thought this reading was pretty good. I thought it was cool. I thought it was good insight on the deck and I want to keep working with it and see what other cool readings I get. Um Yeah. 
This video is kind of short, but let me know what your opinion is. If you've ever uh, had an experience like this or like I did with the, um, the Caitlin Madison and the Crowley, like the fact that some decks, like I know for walkthrough purposes, it's nice to like see the cards in order, but some, some decks are just better off not in order. You know what I mean? Like, get that, that good mix, you know? Um, cause sometimes they'll balance them out. I think I, I know I worry too much, you know? So when I'm looking at a deck and deciding to purchase, I'm like, is this like not cohesive? Like, why? Um, and, you know, sometimes you just gotta, trust the process. So yeah, if you um, want to look at my Caitlin Madison video, I have that up. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Be careful with your teeth because it's very traumatic. <laughs>